yes. My name is Dr. Artemis Atkins, and on behalf of Strauman Group, I have the pleasure to welcome Dr. Sergio Piano to the program. Welcome, Dr. Piano. Welcome. Dr. Thank Piano you. comes to us as an expert in full arch immediate treatments, and he's here to talk to us about some of the challenges and how our products and solutions can help to solve them. Dr. Piano, do you mind taking a moment and introducing yourself to our audience? Yes, thank you for this invitation, first of all. I'm uh, coming from Genoa, Italy, where I have, I have my private practice. And I like to say that I am a dentist that uh, takes care of the patient at 360 degrees with a special passion for implantology. And uh, I started to place implant uh, more than 25 years ago, and I'm still in love with them. Good. We're glad that you're in love with them, and so are your patients. Okay, so first thing that we all face as clinicians is the first thing is managing patients' expectations when there are complex cases involved, which is often the case in full art treatments. Yes. Would you please comment on how you help manage patient expectations for this? Yes, this is a very interesting uh, topic because uh, nowadays patient expectation has changed, uh, has improved. Patient uh, has a new interest, a new objective. And uh, what, what we can say? We can say that uh, three important things. The first is that the patient would like to improve their comfort care during the treatment. They do not accept anymore to have a a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, and they do not accept to have any removal of prosthesis even during the transitional phase. So there are two things that they want to avoid. This is the first point. The second point is that uh, they want to obtain a good result in a shortened time. Yes. It means that uh, if a, a, a patient has a, a hopeless dent dent dentition, want to move from this point to, to the to the fixed new uh, bridge on the implant in a very compacted time. He, he doesn't want anymore to extract the tooth, wait for the healing, That's place right. the implant, at, at wait for the os integration, then a new prosthesis. Long time right. that should be compacted in the in the idea of patient. And the third point, probably the most important, is the need of nice aesthetic result because the patient doesn't want anymore to have only teeth for chewing. Yeah. He, he would like or she would like to have it for, for smiling, for having a beautiful, beautiful uh, appearance. And this is a very important point. Yes, I agree. And you know what? Patients these days with access to the internet, they get their own homework, they get their yes. own imaging done, they go figure out what, they, right. what they're looking for, and if and you don't say, provide it, someone like will. This. Exactly, exactly. It is not so easy to, no. to, to <laughs> satisfy. Okay, now talk to me about digital treatment planning and how this helps you help your patients better. Yes. Uh, I have listed on this picture these three features related to the, to the patient expectation. How to face this issue, because it's an important issue to have a patient that is satisfied. I think that the magic word, the key concept to satisfy this, uh, this uh, problem is this one, the planning. planning. The right. planning is very important. And first of all, the plan must be a prosthetic planning, because we have to start for the prosthetic planning. Yes by using a pre-visualization of the final result. The patient must be involved in a project that allows him or her to see the final result prior to start the surgical phase. Yes. The patient usually appreciated this approach because he is very happy to know how uh, his or her teeth will be. Yes. And so firstly, the prosthetic planning and then the surgical planning. So, of course, we need to investigate the site where the implant will be placed because we need the bone for the implant placement, but uh, this must do in line also with the prosthetic planning. Yes. And uh, why the prosthetic planning is so important? I always repeat this phrase, the patient claim for beautiful teeth, not for beautiful implants. So uh, we, we need to, to to deliver it to the patient, beautiful teeth, supported by perfectly placed implant. What is important for the patient is the smile. Yes. And this is a, just an example of what we are able to do on the screen. Giving the smile, a new smile to the patient, giving the, a better facial appearance. And uh, I think that this patient has changed not only the appearance of, of their face, but sometimes also they little bit change the, their the quality of, of their life. Oh my God, I absolutely. think that this is very important. Absolutely. 
So firstly, prosthetic planning, and then after having find the right uh, setup for that patient, the surgical planning. This is the field of the battle where we have to place the implant and we have to investigate this, having the right uh, tools for facing this problem, but always in line with the prosthetic planning. Yes? Okay. I think so talk this to is me. my you point were of view. One of the, no, I agree with you. Honestly, I agree with you because whenever I saw patients, at the end of the day, all they want is to get back their aesthetics, their function, and be able to speak and chew and all those things. They don't really care about whether or not I gave them implants in their bone. They don't see that part there, so I agree with you. That has to start with the, uh, the prosthetics, I agree. Now, you uh, also were one of the early adopters of our BLX system, yes. and you applied it to full arch edentulous treatments. Would you share with us a little bit about your experience with the BLX system and what, you, yeah, what your observations were? Yes, uh, let me, let me move the focus on, on this implant yeah. that, in, in my opinion, is a great revolution because one of the most challenging aspects in uh, performing a full arch rehabilitation is the need of find a correct, uh, ideal stability for the implant in order to assure the immediate loading to the patient. That's, that's right. Uh, in my private practice, I always have the fear not to be able to reach this stability, and so this is a problem that affects my everyday practice. With this implant, I have completely remove the sphere because the implant is able to give me the, the stability that I ask to an implant and to go uh, toward the treatment in, with a different approach. And I think that uh, we, we have to, to, let me say, underline, underline three important features of this implant. The first is the high stability performance because we need an implant that is stable and is able to support the immediate loading with no doubt. And this implant does yes, this. Yes, I, I know. The second, not to be underestimated, is the perfect bone engagement because sometimes uh, we, we don't treat only a dental patient but also patients with failing dentition where it, teeth must be replaced with the implant so we, we have some post extractive sites. Well, exactly. And we need the implant that engage perfectly in this. Uh, uh, alveolus and, uh, and this implant is I think very very interesting to this end yes. and the third point that is very important because we don't not only need a, an implant performing from the surgical point of view but we need also an implant that is performing from the prosthetic point of view right. and so we need a, a portfolio dedicated for the realignment of this uh, implant axis because very often these implants are placed in tilted position right. and so we need the perfect and it is uh, the yes. case, a perfect portfolio that uh, allows the dentist to create the perfect combination yes. of the prosthetic yes. axis. And this is very important for me. Now I hear you have a prepared a case for us to show our audience. Yes. May I please ask you to do that? Yes, <laughs> just, just to illustrate what I've said <laughs> till now. This is the case, a patient, as I said before, with a failed dentition, we all agree, I think, on the fact that uh, we need to extract all these teeth, and uh, with this, from this intraoral X-ray, we, we see that uh, we have maxillary sinus very prominent, and so our uh, initial idea is to place four implants, two of them tilted in, in this position. But as I said before, I don't want to start from this. Right. I have to start from the face right. of the patient. I, I want to improve the smile of the patient, so firstly, I perform the prosthetic planning, then I move to the, to the, to the field of the bone. Yes. And uh, to this end, we create a pre-visualization of the final result prior to start the, the surgical phase. And then we check in the patient's face, and this is the patient's mind that we want to obtain in order to, to share this with the patient, to approve with the patient, and once we say, yes, we like this, this is the base for the following steps. And this is a comparison between oh, wow. the initial situation and uh, what we have forecasted to, 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 to deliver in this patient. Yep. Then this is our, our base. We can correct if it's not yep. perfect, yeah. of course, but when we have fixed the final aim, this is the, the shape of the teeth to be imported in the code diagnostic software. This is the importation of this, uh, of this uh, setup on this basis. We start to plan it, obviously, to match 
the STL file with the DICOM file yes. and to start planning the BLX uh, implant placement. Uh, not only the implant, but of course also the SRA abutment that are chosen in a very, very interesting family of abutment. Uh, this, this new abutment is very performing because this, the angle, uh, the emergency angle uh, of, the, of the abutment is uh, rounded, uh, so it is better performing into the bow. Yes. yes and yes, yes. Uh, this is a feature that I have uh, really appreciated in this new design of the, of the abutment. Once we have chosen the abutment, then we, we go on with the planning and we produce the, the, the surgical guide. Yep. But uh, I think this picture is very important because the planning is not done on that picture, but on this, on this scheme. And uh, I like to underline the importance of this little lab, yellow label. That means be careful because the uh -huh. bone density is, very, is no. quite low. So right. you can have problem in uh, finding the right stability. So nice. to this end, this is an ideal case for the BLX implant because it, it performs very well in this uh, poor nice. bone. Yes. Yes. And, yes. and then at the end of the story, the dental technician provided me a, a printed uh, surgical guide and the millard provisional bridge. And then only now can move to the surgical procedure. I need all this planning stage and then my surgical procedure will be smooth and easier. Nice. Surgical procedure, of course, we have now available the full uh, implant guided uh, BLX set, uh, so we have only a partially computer guide placement. It will be available in yes. the next month, so sure. yes. it will it's be on the, on the stage uh, very yeah. soon. And uh, for those areas where we have no keratinite in Jiva, uh, we, we want not to perform a flap approach, but we, we raise a little flap in order to, to preserve the keratinized gingiva. Yeah. And then we start uh, extracting not all the teeth, but only the teeth involved in the implant placement. These teeth are, are kept in order to support the guide, guide placement, preparation of the site, and placing of the implant not guided, till now, I said before, but uh, we, it was very simple to find yeah. the right stability, very strong stability. Even in the soft bone? Even the soft yes. bone, of course. Yes. It was very, very interesting, this fact. And uh, as a surgeon, I'm very s satisfied from this because I, I've removed the fear not to be able to right. find this stability. This stability, is very important. Exactly. Which in the these cases is paramount. Yeah. Yeah. The realignment, thanks to the, the SRA abutment, you can see how what we are planning on the model prior to do the surgery is exactly done during the surgical phase. Yep. On top of them, the vario base, and then the prov provisional bridge that is linked on top of vario bridge. Beautiful. The refining given by the dental technician, and then at the end of the story, a few hours later, the prosthesis delivered, moving from the failed dentition to the new provisional bridge. And you can see how is precise the placing of this implant, how is easy to place this implant even without a, a, a computer guided procedure. Very, very nice. This is after seven days, but in my opinion, the most important picture is this yes. one. Being able oh. to give to the patient this bright smile. Yes. This is what the patient asked for. Yes. And this is a patient who changed her life. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. This is important. Very, Doesn't very matter nice. the patient is the, is the implant is straight, tilted. They don't care. They just care that they look yeah, like that. Exactly. This is the yes, important thing for her. And that's just the provisional. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Beautiful. Now, you are an, obviously, as, as you've mentioned, you're an enthusiastic proponent of prosthetic planning for this reason. Of course. You're familiar, obviously, with our Smile in the Box program, uh, yes. which is one tool to fully support the, pro, you know, the process for the clinician through the full arch treatment. Would you comment about your experience and your opinion on this? Yes. Let, let, me, let me move the light on the smile in the box. Uh, starting to say that uh, nowadays the digital approach has a great impact on our everyday dental practice. And it is clear because uh, with the digital approach we are able to find a very nice result to simplify our, our procedures. And so it's very interesting to take care of this. But some dentists are not very familiar with the technologies. And so for this, for this dentist, sometimes 
they would like to, to do this, but they are not able to. <laughs> and for this type of dentist, or for those dentists, they are not, uh, uh, they don't want to spend so much money to, to, to buy an intraoral scanner, a software for a code diagnostic, and all the proce process. Nowadays, is a, a service is available, very interesting, whose name is Smile in the Box, and uh, allows the dentist to be supported in, in planning, in creating all the uh, components that he needs uh, in his uh, practice uh, by this, uh, this service, uh, in terms of implant treatment planning, surgical guide design and production, all the components that you need, the temporary restoration, all can be uh, supplied by Smile and Box. Yeah. Smile and Box because all this stuff will be delivered in your office, in a physically box, in a box yes. that uh, it uh, will contain all the dentist need for the for the surgery and uh, for the for the prosthetic. Yes. Uh, how does it work? Uh, obviously, the dentist must uh, do the, the, the first phases: data acquisition, digital impression, or a scanning of uh, of a traditional impression. No yeah. problem. And the last part, so the physical placing of the implant and the temporary restoration. But in the middle, all this step can be supported by Smile in the Box, completely or partially, for single case or for full arch cases. And That's right. the more is complex the treatment, the more the support will be necessary. Right. And in terms of design, of planning, but also of practical uh, offer of, of, the, of the component needed. Right. Uh, to make an example, this is what the dentist should do an impression, a CBCD file. This must be up uploaded on the smileinabox.com. And then very quickly, the service will uh, give you back a planning, a proposal of the planning uh, for replacing, for instance, this molar. And the planning must be evaluated by the dentist. In fact, in this case, I was not satisfied because the implant was not placed perfectly in line with the, with the, with the, the, with the crown. Exactly. And so I, I, I did exactly. the change. I said, no, please realign this. They, they did it, and now it's OK, and then we can go on. Yes. And uh, the following step is that, uh, of, of course, you have to, to fill a form with all your requests, uh, all your needs. It is, is, is important. But uh, once we have done this, you can go on, and they provide you with a lot of interesting tools, the surgical protocol, yep. the material list that you need, you can be provided with a surgical guide, with temporary restorators. You need all the prosthetic components and implants are contained in this box, so you can easily receive what you need in a very simple manner. If you if you need more information, you can ask to the to the desk in this in this direction. I think they they, they will uh, support you with all the information you need. Then the last thing, very interesting, is that thanks to to Smile and the Box, this is the their own planning. I was able to place an implant very, very precisely. And this is the post-op X-ray following the, the final rehabilitation, yeah. showing that I was simple to uh, to follow the instruction, yes. and I was simple to be to be uploaded in the digital world without any, let me say, uh, specific you skill. You don't need any skill about. It. And it is the the corresponding uh, clinical image. Now, we've talked about prosthetic planning, surgical planning, the actual activity, yeah. the smile in the box. There's another element to these rehabilitation type cases regarding tissue healing. As you know, oftentimes, how well the tissue heals offers, determines part of the success of the treatment. So I want you to share with our audience a little bit about your experience with Embigain um, and its application in your clinical practice. Yes, uh, I think that is a very interesting uh, topic. And uh, I like to, to show the only, let me say, scientific data of, of this uh, talk. Uh, it is it's not a s real scientific data. It is a survey. It is an interview of a lot of patients, 89 patients. Uh, and uh, they want to, to know yes. what, when was higher the pain perception. And uh, the result was that the perception was high in women. I, I do not agree on this because my personal experience women as our perfect patients, but uh, this, this is not uh, important. What is important is that uh, they say that uh, 
the main perception of the, of the pain was immediately after the surgery and when a large, large number of implants was placed. So the conditions that are very often related to the uh, full arch rehabilitation. To this end, every time that I have to open a flap, I think it's very interesting to use this product end again into the flap and on top of the flap in order to improve the wound healing and uh, to reduce the pain. And this is demonstrated, I don't want to bore you with uh, some uh, scientific result, that the use of endogen significantly reduces the, yes. the impact of the treatment. And it is very important yes. for a dentist to provide the patient with this, uh, yes. with this data. Uh, I, I show you very briefly a, a case on this. This is a, a patient with, a hopeless, with hopeless teeth to be removed. This is not the point, but uh, I go uh, for this placement of implant. I, I raise a, a complete flap. This is the prosthetic procedure, but before uh -huh. making the suture, I put the endogen within the flap, into the flap, and then I, I, I give the stitches in order to close the product at the, in the inner part of the flap. Then the protocol uh, want to have the second layer on top of the stitches, but uh, I have to do the prosthetic oh, phase, so I delay this after the prosthetic okay. stage, yes. the protection of the, of the temporary abutment and the linking of the bridge yes. on, on top of that. But I think it's very important because a patient that has fear to, to feel pain must be comforted by, by by the dentist, and this tool is very favorable to this end. And so after the procedure that uh, involved the, the linking of the prosthesis to the, uh, to the um, provisional uh, abutment, we remove it. The prosthesis is sent to the lab for, for the refinement, for, a, for, a, for the perfection of the build. But, and the, the prosthesis will be delivered the following day, right. 24 hours later, before Sending yeah, the patient home, we put the I second see. layer of endogen on top of stitches. This is important. The patient at this point go home, and uh, he came back the following day for the for the delivering of the prosthesis. And uh, this is a situation after 24 hours. Wow. Despite the big flap we have opened, there is no pain, no swelling. Wow. Uh, the one this is very nice, and uh, I will show you later the the picture related to the, the situation after one week. And it is really surprising. Wow. You, you don't, you don't, it, it doesn't seem that you have elevated the flap so big in this patient. Mm -hmm. So this is one week, three months later, and the final rehabilitation that was uh, carried out uh, uh, three months later with the corresponding X-ray images. Very, very nice. So, to conclude, I think that uh, this is a very interesting product, very easy to apply, yeah. no specific uh, uh, skill for this procedure, but uh, a very convenient uh, tool for the, for, for the dentist in order to reduce what the patient very often has the fear of. So right. to, to, to right. feel a, a, a period after surgery not comfortable right. and uh, can be uh, given a, a very bad memories of that of that right. moment to the patient. Right. You know, I, uh, you mentioned something about uh, the difference in pain perception between females and males. I also experienced the same, regardless of what the survey shows. And there was an interesting, I started to try and research why this might be the case. And there is an actually um, an interesting interplay between our endocrine system and our ner nervous system, where testosterone mitigates pain perception. So generally speaking, men actually do, in fact, feel less pain than women. It's a physiological thing. It's a very interesting thing. But I observed the same, the survey I read. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I appreciate you sharing your cases with us Me and too. your Me perception too. and your nice. experience with ProArch. Thank you so much. Um, and on that note, my name is Dr. Artemis Adkins, and I'd like to thank Dr. Sergio Piano for his expertise. And uh, from the arena of confidence at IDS, I wish you well. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.